Okay, today at OMB Warehouse, we're gonna put a new E-tube in a jet into one of the Predator 212 or Clone or Honda GX200 type carburetors. Come over here and take a look and I'll show you what we got going on. All you need to replace the emulsion or E-tube and the new jet into your Clone GX200 Predator 212 carburetor is a 10 millimeter wrench and a flat bladed screwdriver. Start by turning the fuel off to the unit. Loosen up the fuel bowl drain plug and drain this into a container and then you can pour it back in your gas tank. Don't lose the gasket that goes onto that or you'll have a fuel leak. This nut here secures the bowl to the carburetor body and it has a gasket on it as well. Those are reusable. I take this off, set it aside. Notice that there's a O-ring here in the carb body. That can stay there. If it comes out or sticks to the top, just pull it off the top, reinsert it once we're done. To get the jet out, simply insert your flat bladed screwdriver into the hole here. Make sure the screwdriver is not too wide right here or you'll mess up the threads in this and you'll not be happy. So just turn it counterclockwise and that will loosen the jet. It'll get to a point where there's no more threads holding it in and it'll come out. The E-tube sometimes will stick in the carb body a little tap on it will make that come out. There's two sides of the E-tube. There's one side that has a longer so edge which is stepped here and then a two-step side. This side goes in first. It goes up actually through the Venturi and you'll see it inside the carb. So I just simply drop that in there, grab my new number 36 jet and just set that down in there with the part for the screwdriver facing up. Get it down to seat with the threads and just lightly go over this just to make sure that you're not cross-threading it into place. Once you feel it hit the bottom, just snug it up just a little bit and that's all it takes. At that point, replace your float bowl. I angle this out so I can drain the fuel with the fuel drain plug with this on the engine still. So I'll, put, I'll install that and then we'll put this nut that holds the bowl on and we'll want to tighten that up a little bit just so you feel the o-ring start to squish you don't have to tighten it real tight and then make sure that this is tight so there's no fuel leaks on the bottom we won't have a fuel leak here and that's all there is to it all of these parts are available at omb warehouse find us online at ombwarehouse.com or give us a call 877-272-7941 thank you